So in the last video we did the leg. Uh, we can see the leg is sitting under the coffee table as a sub-assembly. We're going to create a new component. And this component is going to be called the rail. So side rail and click OK. We're going to start by sketching and we're going to sketch on this plane here. So it's going to come out from the dots here. So it's going to block my back. Um, plane. So from here we're going to go to hide our leg. It gets in the way so we click the eyeball there and I'm going to use a rectangle from the origins come up. It doesn't really matter if you come up that way or that way. Anyway it's fine. Um, it's going to be 140 that's important and tab 19. So that's our rectangle. I can't remember what size is going to be, you might have to look it up here. Um, we are going to make this rail 235. And from that point, choose either end, doesn't matter which end. Create a sketch on that end. We're going to use the line tool and the line type. Remember you might need to expand that little toolbar. Now this time we're looking for that triangle in the middle. So Scroll along until you get it and click on it and come straight down and click on the other side. So that gives us a center line to work with. Circle, turn off the construction constraints and same deal as last time. We want six circles down in a row, all 10 millimeters. So And press C for circle, that's a shortcut. Try not to get it to snap to the middle. And we use the dimension tool to go 12 millimeters from each end. And then 22 millimeters from each center. This is the last time we're going to have to draw this, I hope. So we've got that in place. Um, finish sketch and extrude. We'll select all six circles. We're going to extrude that in minus 25. You can rotate your model if you'd like to see that that's gone in the right way. Now we could do that manually on the other side of our rail, but we're not going to. There's a shortcut to doing this. So construction. Find the one that says mid plane. We select this end. We rotate or orbit our model and select the other end. You can see it's created this mid plane. Click OK. Now we're going to use the mirror feature. So mirror under the create toolbar. We're going to make sure this says features in the type. And we select that feature and the mirror is this mirror plane here. Press enter and you'll see that you've got exact copy on the other side. We've created that um, this year. It's best to hide it straight away, otherwise it gets frustrating when we've got all these construction planes showing in our model. So we'll save that. Make sure you save regularly in Fusion. It is likely to, likely to crash at the worst time for you. Um, Reselect your leg here. You can actually come up and activate the coffee table activation dot there and you can see you've got two components so we're going to join this um, we're going to use the um, joining tool here and we're going to join from this component here across to this component here so at the center of each circle you'll see it comes together and we have got a leg and a rail now we're going to duplicate this, so we're going to make this sub-assembly here and then duplicate it across to the other side. Um, to do that, we will do the following. We're going to go over to the leg and we're going to right click the leg and go copy. And then up to the copy table, the very top component on our 
window and we're going to go paste new it's very important that you go paste new instead of paste we'll pull this on out we're not trying to match it at the moment we just want to have that gap there we're going to rotate it around and you can see um, we have not got the right connection in here so we've set up the front here to be correct uh, we've got this one correct because we're going to put a rail like this in the back um, but this side here or sorry the actually facing the front now um, is not right at the moment so we're going to change that one you can pull it out of the way for now because nothing's locked in place and zoom in a little bit and select one of these kind of uh, holes here so come over to the leg and click the activation dot so this one should be highlighted now or shaded the rest should be kind of clear and we're going to click that kind of center dot um, if that doesn't light it up we'll kind of click along here so it's these two here so there's the feature and there's the sketch we want to right click and delete the feature and then right click and yeah we'll delete the sketch i was going to think about editing it there for a second but we won't we're going to select this kind of same surface and go sketch um, when you get this warning here when we're working in this uh, kind of multiple component mode always go capture position we're going to go to align we're going to do exactly the same so i lied before when i said that was the last time we're going to draw those circles um, this will be the last time we draw the circles you'll be getting good at it by now but we don't need me to show you kind of skip over it a bit rest my voice while i'm doing this one Sorry, I just made a mistake there. You might have noticed select the outside. If you select the outside, sometimes you can press control and select it again, but um, in this instance I couldn't, so I pressed escape and start it again. So there we go, we've got um, or replaced those fronts with the um, correct pins. Um, don't worry about lining it up. Actually, we can. We're going to click uh, join. You zoom right into the center of that circle and move it around so you can see the end of your rail. Zoom right in. Click the corresponding component. Now, the 12.5 gives us a 9.5 to the center of the 19 at plus 3 mil overhang, which is like an um, appearance kind of gap for our joinery with timber. Um, we have got the rails together we've got the tapers on the correct sides that's our front um, we've got two pins here for our rails that go um, underneath the drawer so we've got those there and those there um, we've got this rail in and we are going to duplicate this side to match this side so we'll do that in the next video make sure you save your work before you move on to the next point